there. Hello. <laughs> So that's how you do it. Hi there. <laughs> nice, nice party. <laughs> yep. Hello, how are you? My name is Dillis. First time here. Yay! Hi there. Nice party, eh? Yes, very nice. Lots, lots of, food. of food. Look at all the yeah, food. Yeah, good food. Lots of food. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. It's so delicious. Is that cream cheese one? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that one? yeah. Oh, he's got Christmas carol right now. Lillian yeah. is doing the Christmas carol. words to Christmas carols. I don't know how many people we have here. We have 20 minutes. We have 20 of them. Okay, so hopefully we have enough. If, if not, we, have we, need, we need to have larger <laughs> friends yeah. get the larger sheets. Yes, we have bigger ones too. If people oh, like what I do. Larger one? Okay. I'll have one. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 Okay. Yeah, it is so wonderful to see all of you here on just before Christmas. We only have two weeks. And I bet you you'll have Christmas party every day, every night from now on. <laughs> I have two yesterday. You have two yesterday. But you still keep me so slim, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Uh, number one, I want to thank all of you who have brought in so much food. And if you could use them at home, please you feel free to take them home. Okay. And some of the food that you like that you didn't bring, you could also take some home too. <laughs> and my cleaning lady actually made a lot of cookies for us. So on the uh, dining table in the kitchen, you can open it up and pick some of them. Okay? Oh, she makes great cookies. Oh, it is wonderful. And after our little get-together and get to know one another, you could go back and eat some more. <laughs> well, I mean, Christmas is for eating, isn't it? <laughs> and you know what? I was saying to my husband, I said, you know what? Next year, we should have a... A, a low impact aerobic class. <laughs> Don't you think that would be wonderful? You know, you just stretch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a Tai Chi. <laughs> tai Chi, oh yeah. Mm, Rob, you good. know somebody who's a Tai Chi instructor? Yep, yep. That's Yoga what we instructor. will do. How about that? And downstairs we have a room a little bit bigger than this one. <laughs> okay? And um, it's all rugged, and so I guess we could do it low impact. You know, when we were in Peterborough at one point, and um, it was funny, we didn't know what to do, um, because one of the church on the highway, and in the evenings, they don't have classes, and they don't have anything. People just don't want to drive by. So some brilliant idea came up and said, let's have a low impact aerobic class. We grew 35 people every week, wow. and people not even from the church from the neighborhood. It was wonderful. And then, I, of course, my instructor got pregnant. <laughs> so I taped it. So I said, when you were gone on maternity leave, we could use your tape. So yeah, there's market for that. And who's a marketing specialist around here? Hi, <laughs> family. There we go. Yeah, it is wonderful to see uh, new faces, not so new faces but you're all equally welcome. And I'm so happy to see Melissa and Yay. Lee. And she's gone back to school after the summer. And she was here regularly. 
and so we really missed her, and I'm glad. And she has one more exam to go, <laughs> then she would be on holidays. Yeah. We'll pray for you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So they treat you well in London? Oh, I go to Waterloo. Oh, you? Waterloo. <laughs> 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 my sister graduated from London, so <laughs> yeah. Did they treat you well? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good, good. If not, let us know, huh? We'll do something about it, okay? <laughs> and Leah, are you behaving when she's gone? Oh, yes. <laughs> ah, that's good. That is good. And now, over here, we have Mr. Tony Chow. You know, we met Tony uh, a year ago. Yeah, yeah, and he has a, a huge, what, accounting firm somewhere down on uh, Half Hour Victoria Shepherd. Park and Victoria, Shepherd. yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that he and Paul's youngest brother were classmates. Oh, oh. We grew up together. We lived in the same condo for 10 years. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah, I should, I should call him. He always said, well, when are we going for supper? <laughs> yeah, it is great. And, and my wife and uh, Lee and sister are, are best friends. But Your we didn't wife? Know that. Who? Which one? Uh, best friend with whom? Eunice? Eunice, yeah. Ah. They're, Your they're office is not very you know? far from. Uh, Where are they bright? Yeah, they're prize me to each other. Well, you have a big family. You can't keep <laughs> up with everybody else's friends, right? <laughs> no. That's true. We're going to have a Lee clan meeting here next Sunday. And she's going to bring some vegetarian dishes, I think. <laughs> yeah, my, my sister, she's a soloist for churches. So people knew a lot about her. So we look a little bit alike. She's shorter than I am, right? Yeah. yeah. So they always say, oh, I saw you last oh. week. And they say, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know them. <laughs> I got so mixed up with Eunice. Anyways, now we have new people at the back. Everybody knows, um, right? Matthew? Does everybody know Matthew? Yeah. <laughs> Matthew. Oh, I'm shy. Are you shy? Yeah, Mom. <laughs> He's the youngest be shy one. Alex, <laughs> you were the youngest one before, right? You were yeah. 11, and Matthew is. Three, so we meet you. All <laughs> uh, right, and um, everybody knows Pei Pei. And uh, would you introduce yourself? Hi guys, very nice to meet you. My name is Kyung from Korea. I came here two years ago. Now I'm studying in Canada Christian College. So yeah, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Welcome. Yes, and good luck to And Sylvia. She's Romanian, she doesn't know to speak English. <laughs> we welcome you, okay? She was going to leave actually in the 19th of December to go back home. Oh. She was visiting with us only for a short period of time. Oh, nice to have you. I hope you enjoy the company. <laughs> and everybody knows Dave, right? Who's Dave? Yeah, you know Dave? They say, who's Dave? Who's Dave? Who's Dave? Who's Dave? The big guy. All right, who else? Oh, Nancy, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, Nancy. Hi. Right. Now, this is Nancy's first time. How did you get to come here? Uh, well, it's through the meetup. I once in a while, Meetup will send notices of groups, even though your groups existed for a while. I just got the notice a couple weeks ago. So, so I joined, and here I am. Thank you very much for inviting all of us into your lovely home. Thank you. Welcome. And Charlotte? I'm Charlotte, um, and I met um, Lillian and, and Paul at their summer institute that they had um, in Toronto. And um, I was in touch with them a couple of weeks ago about supervi supervision um, with counseling, and they invited me to the Christmas party today. Good. Nice. Thank you. That is good. All right. Everybody knows Jessica. Yeah. 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 Yes. Okay. Can't do without Jessica. You are right. Can't do without this lady either. <laughs> Tell them. <laughs> Hello, my name is Dennis. Um, I'm working in the, actually now I'm working in the engineering company.
company for in the accounting office, and at the same time, uh, uh, every Wednesday, every other Wednesday, I come here to help Lillian and Paul for the for the numbers. Mm. <laughs> ah, so you do the accounting. Okay. So if you don't receive a receipt from me, not it's me. not my fault. For sure, not me. Okay, Agnes. Hello everybody, I'm Agnes. I know uh, Lydia through Lydia's because uh, she's my roommate. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. That's good. Yeah, okay. Uh, Paul wants to say a few words. Okay. A few words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would. Five minutes. Five minutes. So I want to briefly introduce the mini, mini living group. So I want to begin by saying that, that I want to tell you something about how to make New Year, resolu New Year resolution that will last. <laughs> okay? Uh, every year people want to make New Year resolution. And it doesn't matter how many times they have failed in the past, it doesn't matter, right? But they still want to make some resolution. Sometimes losing weight or uh, eat healthier or whatever. So I want to begin by saying that New Year resolution is a good thing. It's good. It doesn't matter how many times you fail, it doesn't matter. You know why it's good? Because it expresses the power of hope and faith and belief. When you make a new resolution, you express the desire and the hope that next year will be better, right? That next year will bring more financial, financial success, uh, next year will bring more happiness and better health. So that is the hope and faith and belief is very powerful motivation. You have no hope in the future, right? So that is good because it, it expresses the capacity of hope. Secondly, New Year resolution expresses the universal human desire, human yearning for personal growth, for fulfilling your potential. Okay? And, and uh, you might not realize that, that everybody is valuable, everybody is unique, and everybody has a gift. And God endow us with the potential to, to blossom, to flourish, to grow, and to develop all we are meant to be. So that is another good thing about your, your uh, resolution because every time you make a resolution, you want to develop some part of you that you like and repair or get rid of part of you that, that are undesirable. Okay? Uh, Oh, I don't like this, I don't like that about me. So you want to change you want to change it. Right? But more importantly, New Year resolution is important because it indicates your awareness of your need for change. Now, that self-awareness is the beginning of lasting change. Now I, I posted in, in a Facebook saying that, you know, if you want to make significant and lasting change, the process begins with self-awareness and ends with inner transformation. In other words, a lasting change had to be, had to come from inside out. It had to come from within you. It's not important outside. It, it comes deep within your soul, deep within your, the depth of your being. Okay? So, so that is the meaningful living groups are about because here we want to share with you a system of change, a process of change with the necessary tools and vehicles that help you to implement change step by step. But it, it's not something that happens overnight. It's, it's, a, it's a process. You learn to trust the process. You will trust the process it will work. Okay. Let me give you an example, okay? Usually, when you fail to implement your New Year resolution, it usually is because of situation, right? 
something happened that derailed my best plan. Economy collapsed. Something bad happened. Fate intervened. Situation. But I come to all of the mean approach. What happened to you is less important than the meaning you attach to it. Okay? So the same thing happened to A and B, but A thinks that's a disaster, B thinks, oh, good. this is a good opportunity to, to rise to a challenge, to grow. See? It, it, it is the meaning you attach to the event that's important for you to make positive change. The second important lesson is that when we fail, the first instinct, the first instinct is to blame other people. She let you know. Don't think the right one. She let you know. People let me down. They betray me. They betray me. They make me angry. They block me. They sabotage me. They make me fail. But from our mini approach, nobody can make you mad unless you make yourself, you make yourself mad. You give them power to make you fail. You give other people power to make you sad or mad. So it's again, it's, it's not other people, it's the meaning you attach to other people's statement, behavior, attitude, it's how you make meaning of other people. Right? Finally, the biggest block for your success is your truth, is you to yourself. You know, I just talked to, to, to Lynn about you know, the daughter of, you know, Often people, you know, don't want to make a change because it is human nature to stay put. Because it doesn't require any effort to stay put, right? People like status quo, like, like stay still the way they are. To, to make change really requires either outside motivation, I shuffle you out of the house, or come with you. So if I stay put, I'll rock, I'll waste, I'll waste my life. My life will be wasted. So, you know, so we are the biggest enemy to ourselves. So the, the biggest block to, us, to, us, to our success is not situation, not our people, it's we ourselves. Maybe fear of success, or fear of this, fear of that or fear of rejection. That's why you're afraid of to meet new people, because you're afraid of rejection. Or you're afraid of trying things, because if you don't try, you say, hey, nobody can blame me for being a failure, right? Or that's self, self handicapping So, the, the all kinds of things we do actually handicap, handicap ourselves. So now what I have to say, in part of the thing you learn is that, well, how to make friends with the part of you that are holding you back, okay? Because there are different part of us. Some, some part are desirable, helpful. Some part are not so helpful, holding us back. So your job is to how to make friends, how to enlist the part of you that are holding you back, and how to turn that into your, into your resource and into your, 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 your help. So there are many lessons to be learned throughout the course. So last, uh, last year we went through 10 lessons. So next year we're going to go through 10 lessons again, but with a re revised version, okay, with more exercise. So I invite you all to come and uh, so we work together to see how we can implement the process of change, not only for ourselves, but for our, for our clients, for other people. So when we change, we make this world a better world, right? That's how it, the Confucius said that, right? You, when world peace, you begin with changing yourself. 
Gandhi said the same thing. Christianity also said the same thing, right? So the key is that real change began with you from within. And that's the key, right? And so hopefully next year we'll study the church process, so how we can make resolutions that will stick. Okay? That's five minutes up. Thank you for attention. <laughs> Any questions? Any questions? You don't want to know how old I am? <laughs> <laughs> yes? Rebecca? You, you cannot do this in a couple of series next year, right? Like 10, 10 certain lessons, right? Just, give, just curious from my part, like, how do, how do you embrace your other self? This is for me to know from you, uh, your way of how you do it. How do you embrace the other part of you? You know, the part that, that is holding you back. How, how do you just... More logical. Yeah. You're you the group, right? Are you asking the group? Oh, I'm asking you actually. Asking me, oh. Yes. Well, you are in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> what is the reason to the question thinking that you are the doctor? <laughs> my, my typical answer, you have to be patient. You have to come to the class. Stay tuned next year. Thank you. <laughs> but, but, uh, Thank you. Just, just, just give you a short answer, short answer. But the key is that, the key is that, you have to remember A, B, C, D, Lin, right? You know, accept the undesirable part of you. Every part of a function. Every part of you is a function. You may not realize that. To all your friends, you may not like you, you're too fat or too tall or too white, whatever. They are you, the part of you. You begin by accepting all parts of you as God's gifts, right? They're all good. That's the first part. And then the other thing, okay, that you, you, you embrace by taking the first step of acceptance. Okay? Does that answer your question? Another question? Yeah, how can we get faster to the point where we're going to feel comfortable with ourselves after all these beautiful speeches? <laughs> oh, you want to say for me? You understand what I said? Now, what I said, I said that uh, all of us will learn a lot here, you know, uh -huh. and everything actually what I learned in these 10 sessions, you know, was very helpful for me because through the um, meaning of um, life and all these sessions that we have together, I become more positive than I was before and I feel more confident. The problem is that I still don't see results <laughs> and I don't know what to do. Okay, now, she told you two things, right? She said, first of all, she became more positive. That's result, right? But the other results, Still not forthcoming yet. Yes. Right? So, change the process, right? The process. You will continue the process of path to change. Eventually, you'll, you'll get there. Right? It's that, you know, I did not promise you a magic bullet of overnight change. I promise you a process of path to change. It's the process, right? You'll experience. The outcome of positive change, but there's more to come. Okay? So you have to be patient and faith, man, and believe. Believe eventually you get there. Yeah. Dr. Wong, may I, may I kind of contribute a bit on uh, Dana? It's okay? Yeah. Okay. Dana, what happened is um, you. Sorry, Tony. <laughs> Um, for you, you want to go from A to uh, M, and you're just saying like, I, here I am and I'm positive, everything works well, I feel good. Well, why am I not at M? But how do you know you're not at M? That's, just bear with me, okay? 
because our mind is very, very cunning and smart at the same time. So the life journey is, as Mr. Dr. Wong said, it's a process like we are coming back to do more things. So each time when you finish learning a something, it takes you to another place because your soul knows, your spirit, your soul, you know more than, better yourself than any one of us here. So to go to another one, you have your time and space. It's not just about, I want to get that, I want to get that. What happened is along the way, you are meant to be journey to meet other people, develop something. Your son, you're influencing him in a way, modeling him. And he's growing. You saw the stuff you talked to me about your son, right? And that's, that's part of it too. You fail to recognize that part. You're only so focused, where am I going to get my flower, roses? Mm -hmm. And you've grown yourself. And I accept that. You are right, you know, it happens. You are right. Know, and it's a reality. You are right. No, yeah. but you have. Yeah. So you yourself have grown so much. But what happened is along the way, you did get distractions. <coughs> distractions means you meet people, and then your ideas changes, and your desire changes. Attention, you've been focusing on what you wanted to get there. It's not as intense as it would ha could have been. Because along the way, you saw other things and you kind of want to try that, want to try that. So you kind of, like children, we wander around and then to get there. And now you step back and like, I'm not there yet. But just for one, hold that part and say, um, what if I'm already there? Ask yourself that question because your voice, yourself, like Dr. Wong says, the inner part of you, the one, the part of you that you need to love, you, that part will speak to you and you actually will realize you're not even there, you're not even here, but you are somewhere where you meant to be. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good. I guess everybody else should be doing something, right? Look at your uh, song sheet. Pick up your favorite. We're going to do the first favorite. Let's see. Who has a favorite? <coughs> Alex has one, walking around the Christmas tree, where is it? Walking <laughs> <laughs> around the Christmas tree, no, okay. <laughs> no. Anybody else that wants Rudolph? Alex? Rudolph? Rudolph. That's an easy one. Rudolph, the snow reindeer. You know what? We have so much fun